here we are in the Subaru Forester 2.5 XT. That's the turbocharged version of the new body style Forester. And look at the sunroof above my head. And over both seats, both rows of seats. A beautiful day in Santa Fe. It's clear skies all the way around, but there is rain and fog in the mountains. So we're taking the back road up to the ski valley. And uh, we're gonna do it as quickly as we can. Woohoo! You got, oh, you gotta love that Subaru all-wheel drive system. Track control kicked in just a little bit as the tail started to go around. Perfect. The Forester can play a sporty all-wheel drive fun wagon, but check out that ground clearance, too. People don't seem to understand. They think I'm being ironic when I say the most fun I've ever had in a car was in a Forester Turbo. Granted, that was the last generation, but it was the 100-year uh, snow in Santa Fe, what, two winters ago, where feet came down and people couldn't get out, they were stuck in their driveways, they couldn't get to work, they had to plow and such. And I had so much fun. Went to parking lots, spun around like crazy, took photos, went and picked up everyone I could find. I didn't bring my windshield ice scraper brush thing, I just brought my snow shovel because there was so much snow. Driving one of my coworkers home from work, she had a long driveway, a couple feet of snow on it. <laughs> just launched that Subaru, and just launched it up on the curb into the snow as far as I could, and she she looked a little abashed, got ready to open the door, she said, no, no, hold on! Backed up and did it three or four more times. Her whole driveway, perfectly plowed. You gotta love the basic boxy shape, even though this one's not nearly as boxy as the last one. Now for this new generation, Subaru did get rid of the stick when attached to the turbocharged engine, which is a shame for enthusiasts because that was the one that I loved, and there was a lot of agreement. But Subaru couldn't sell them because no matter how hard I can try to, to boost how wonderful it was, everyone just went for the automatic anyway. Turbo power kicks in and here we go! My only beef is that you don't get the fully manual all-wheel drive system that I fell in love with in the last generation Forester with stick. When you get an automatic, it's tracks control and electronic and, and all of that, so it's a little harder to outthink. Whereas the fully viscous, fully manual all-wheel drive system in the in the stick, you know exactly what it's going to do at any time, and you really can't beat that for control in really harsh situations. But who am I kidding? It drives better than the Honda CRV and the Toyota RAV4. I think it looks better. It has much more cargo room. It has a lower seating position. Even with the automatic, it's still better. 